Hello, hello, dears. Good evening and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna, where we show you a lot of interesting and useful information from Benidorm town and Spain in general. Right now, it's evening time, it's weekend, and we came to Rincon de Loge area to show you how it is and if it is at all different with the new energy saver plan here in Spain. If there are no lights at all and Benidorm is in complete darkness or on contrary, it's as nothing has ever happened. And today's tour, we started right near the famous Benidorm Palace. Let's go. Benidorm's Palace is right there in front. There is a lot of music in there, some nice lights. And a lot of people are going there for the show because shows are usually on weekends. And today is Friday's evening not a lot of people here in general in this area there are some hotels but the majority of people right now are just on the outside somewhere having some nice drink or dinner or with the evening entertainment already back at their hotel what a, well, you can actually hear some evening entertainment going on in there <laughs> by the way oh right now lights are better by the way i wanted to say that look at this Benidorm Palace shining like a star in there. So no light issues in here. All the hotels have lights as well, but obviously that's because they are open right now. Uh, I did see some closed places during this evening uh, and obviously they have all the lights down, but all the rest of them, as you know, Benidorm never ever ever sleeps and here you can see a lot of movement going on which is why almost all the places are open i've even seen chinese shops right now that were open uh, which means that basically there is a lot of light everywhere all the shops have their doors open all of them have lights on for example um gas stations like this one <gasps> there's such a lovely moon oh my god Really amazing. Here, obviously, you can see that there are no um, no lights on the gas station, but that's obvious reasons because it's closed. Uh, some of the shops there are closing down, so the lights are still on. But to be honest, I've passed through a lot of streets right now during these last couple of days oh, with this new rule, you know, and I've basically just seen that. Uh, it's nothing different. It's nothing from the other world. A lot of places open, a lot of neon lights, which you started seeing already from here. Just amazing to see Benidorm like this. And I do feel that I've never showed you Rincon de Loich area late, late in the evening. By the way, today it's getting warmer and warmer. The humidity is just um, fantastic. It's around 77% right now which is not good you feel like you are out of the shower as soon as you go to the street it's just brutal but it is August it is really really warm outside so it's kind of normal too <laughs> don't get me wrong there you can see first lights of different night pubs that we have in here right near the Levante Club Hotel. And this is the tropical bar slash lounge. The pharmacy lights, just the minimum lights are on, but the vast majority are closed, just are off. Just one single light. See, out of all lights, just one single light is maintained on. All the rest, all the bars, restaurants, are just really 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 busy there is some loud music going on and as you can see just really a lot look at that wow that's just spectacular tropical place sinatra is premium as well they are just buzzing right now i'm not sure how much of this i'll be able to show you without being um, punished with the YouTube copyright. But I mean, look at this. So 
natural and tropical, just really loud music going on, a lot of people outside. Beers, friends, sports bar, the paddock, sports and entertainment, that one is closed, no lights on either. Kohinoor, Indian restaurant, never tried this one before. Supermarkets are on, Alibaba, Euro change, rock and roll. This one is closed, by the way, too. The Mandarin Chinese buffets. Like you see, a lot of places are actually open. By the way, here you have some taxi stops. Near all these hotels, you do have taxi stops just in case you need it. Flamingo Oasis looks really quiet. Looks extremely quiet today. Wow. Lovely Flamingo Oasis. We've seen it, by the way in the videos here on the channel so i'm gonna put you some links just in case you want to see those but looks so it's so strange see it as quiet wow that's amazing all the supermarket and like chinese shops as well they are closed too obviously because it's not supermarket time right now it's late in the evening it's past 11 p.m. at this very moment oh, I just love this moon wow and a lot of cars obviously it's impossible to park anywhere near nearby it's really really difficult to find some parking spaces people even use the Chinese shop parking spaces because if not it's simply impossible the Melia hotel by the way a lot of people on the terraces not gonna film as much you know because it's privacy of people but just so that you know there's a lot a lot of them and as you can see there's a lot of people on the streets too of all different ages different age groups oh, just amazing here in Benidorm today on Friday wanted to say that some businesses sadly closed here in the zone you know the showboat we've passed near it right now where we started the video it had some lovely upper terrace too and that place sadly will be rented so it's not available any longer for the shows cabaret and like rentals ideals that's like one of my favorite uh, beer places here that's like more traditional place Spanish place with daily menus also lights off supermarkets kebabs as well and a lot of people in here wow this is the red line here in Rincon de Loich area and it's just crazy how many people there are on the inside as well you can actually hear the music basically so it's just um, really really busy and full during August even here in Rincon de Loich and I don't even want to think what is happening in the city center right now. Obviously all the supermarkets and here we have the round town travel, a really, really famous place for uh, excursion bookings and just in general for some information. Usually they have some lights on, but now they're all closed down with zero lights on. Here we also have the Sun Terrace of Penny Dome. They've reformed this place completely. They've put new tiles, new like building, all the giant terrace that you have in here. People are just having some nice time drinking some typical Spanish drinks. And they also have uh, offers for meals and pizzas, all for a 90, a small, large, and extra large breakfast too. Friday and Saturday, they have football as well and some nice live music and cocktails going on. It, it is quite busy taking into consideration that it is huge okay there are some things for children to play as well uh, some sports you know while adults are enjoying their evening with some nice cocktail but I'm surprised I thought I'll be coming here today at 11 30 at night and there's gonna be literally no one in here but as you can see all the supermarkets are still open waiting for the tourists to come you have the British supermarket by the way well it's called like this but actually all the products are just a normal typical products 
have some takeaway, take which is Indian place. There are some really, really nice things in here, by the way. You can try these out. Some souvenirs from Benny Dom too, but they're okay. Offer one for one euro fifty, five for six euros. Okay, not bad at all if you want some nice souvenir, but you cannot really spend like a huge amount of money. So it is, it is okay. Chinese restaurants, even Chinese restaurants are open. There's the Hotel Regente, by the way, there as well. We filmed that one too last summer, I think by like June, July. Uh, I'll put you all the links here down below. Even these Chinese shops are open. Wow. We have here some towels, typical Benidorm towels. One for seven euros, two for 12. Have some postcards. Just anything that you might want to find in here for your holidays, you can do so in here. The mythical Gemelos, Gemelos 22. That's the most touristic ever place. That's like the typical touristic apartment place that you can rent the place in. This is the Chinese uh, super hero like offer place. Uh, it's a new one. And as you can see, no lights in here since it's closed. I'm quite shocked. I'm not supposed to show so because I promote tourism in Benidorm, but like, look at this. The smell is quite strong, by the way. I'm not sure if it's why, why this is the case, um, why there's so much litter and garbage in there, but I mean, really surprising, isn't it? Some supermarkets more. Actually, um, lately I see a huge amount of supermarkets in here. It's just incredible. Another one right there, and all of them have their doors open. Dynastic. We've visited this hotel too. Nice sofas and nice furniture on the inside. They've put in there. Really quiet inside. Wow. Just one person at the reception. Like it's, I don't know, it's so strange. Well, I guess it's because a lot of people are outside, so hotels are just empty. Paradiso, really also famous place, bar, restaurant in here. And this corner place before was a restaurant as well, um, because this is touristic apartment building too, by the way. Right there in front, this is Gala Placidia Hotel. Now it's three stars superior, by the way. And this place, they've made it fresh potatoes. It's called My Chips. It's the second place already that they've opened up. They basically serve potatoes and some snacks, like cheaper options of snacks. <sighs> Not many taxis I can see right now, I can tell. Definitely really busy. But all these shops, usually they close at 10, but right now, like they literally wait up until there is no one down the streets because I mean, they need to um, work for their economy, you know, so. I mean, I'm not surprised, but while people are coming in, why not to keep places open, you know? There's some nice uh, inflatable things in there. Wow, even small children are here outside. This area looks way more empty than the previous ones. Like here, you do barely have any kind of lights at all. All the businesses that are closed and a lot of garbage. What is happening? I don't get it. If it's like all people decided to throw it at once right now in the evening, because that's not normal. That's not a typical. I don't want you to think that that's like a typical thing of Benny Dom. No, just something happened and not too sure, but not a good advertisement for Benny Dom in Rincon de Loich. Like here, everything is dark, the darkest. Here, for example, you do have some shops like this, but they do have some lights on. So, uh, I mean, others not. So I would definitely dare to say, oh, they also have some 24 market goes. You, we've seen one on the beach area, like a similar one, but it's a different brand. And this one here is another one with snacks, just on a random road towards the residential building. KFC vape, by the way, uh, there is a vape shop right here nearby, uh, right near the Helios Hotel, which is right there in front. KFC. Um, so I would 
day to say that some businesses do go with a new rules for the energy save up some businesses don't so I mean it is what it is we need to deal with it but I definitely see way less lights at least at this very part of the ring on the lodge comparing to what I've used to see before and I also see a lot of litter which is not good at all we need some more cleaning desperately here in the zone but I mean it's always there's a lot of people so that is kind of a normal undesirable but normal situation to live in. And this is Rincon de Loge on Friday evening. As you can see, it's 12 midnight right now. There's still a lot of people on the streets, which is incredible. I'm really happy for Benidorm. But I definitely would like to say that we need some cleaning in here because there's a lot of garbage, a lot of littering. Um, and it's just not a nice way of promoting our lovely town for tourism. Apart from that, nothing has changed. As you can see, people still visit streets. They're going to supermarkets. All supermarkets are open. Even that one right there behind me that closes usually slightly earlier uh, here all the businesses do have lights on all the night pubs and clubs so life is boiling here so don't worry if you're coming on holidays hey <laughs> I wish you a lovely day of today thank you for coming on this short tour with us and I'll see you in the next video here on the channel bye